In the last video, we learned where the names of the notes were. In other words, we learned where the white keys were on the banjo. But you might have noticed there are one, two, three, four, five black keys that we didn't play. And so this lesson will talk about what those are called and where those are played on the banjo. Put as simply as possible, whenever you see this little number sign, this little tic-tac-toe sign, that means sharp. And all that means is go up one key or one fret on the banjo. For instance, if I'm on the note C and I go up one fret or one key, that is the note C sharp right here, this black key. If I'm on the note D and I go up one key or one fret, that's the note D sharp, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, and so on. The opposite of a sharp is called a flat, and it's signified by this little lowercase b sign, and all that means is go down one key or one fret. So if I'm on D and I go down one key, well, that's the note D flat, E, E flat, G, G flat, and so on. Now you'll notice that each black key has two names. This could be either C sharp or D flat. This black key could be either D sharp or E flat. So each black key has two names. It just depends on the context in which it's used. But don't worry about that for now. Just know that each black key has two names. Now let's take what we've learned and apply it to the banjo. So I'm starting from the note D here and we learned that D to E is a whole step or two frets. So that means that this note right here in between would be a black key on the piano and it has two names. It could either be D going up one fret for D sharp or E down one fret for E flat. Now that I'm on E, well, E to F is only a half step, so there's no black key in between those. Now from F, I can go up one key for F sharp, or G would be right up here, so I could go down from G and go to G flat, it could be either one. From G, up one fret to G sharp, or down from A to A flat. From A, up to A sharp, or down from B for B flat. From C, up a half step for C sharp, or down a fret for D flat. Now I'm on D and I can go up a fret for D sharp, and that would also be called E flat. This D was also the same as the open string D, so if I go up from this open string to the first fret here, well, that's just the note D sharp or E flat again. E and F is only a half step apart, so there's no black key in between those. And again, F up one fret for F sharp, or it could be G flat. So now we have a completed diagram of the first four frets of the banjo with every single note filled in. And if you saw this without understanding the method behind it, it might seem a little bit confusing, but hopefully now that we've gone through the method to finding each note, you understand why each note is where it is. And I challenge you guys to not only stick within the first four frets, but just pick a random spot on the banjo and see if you can find what note that is. See if you really understand the distances between these notes, the sharps, the flats, the half steps between E and F and B and C, and that'll prepare you for the next lesson on the major scale.